Welcome. In this session, we'll talk about uh, ordering of insulin sliding scales. Um, what do the scales look like, and how do you um, order them? And then, of course, change scales. Um, and so, to do that, um, I've loaded up a patient that is uh, fake, um, mm -hmm. and we will click this Add button, um, where you will see a search box open, um, and you'll click on this folder called Power Plans. And then this power plan folder contains a bunch of typical common power plans. We would select the one that says insulin subcutaneous standard orders. Um, and so notice it became dark blue because it got selected. And I used a one time left mouse click. And then I click done to close mm -hmm. the search box. And you notice um, that the insulin sliding scale orders have been uh, loaded up. Um, and so what you need to do is to review this power plan. Um, notice there's a first uh, notify provider order um, regarding hypoglycemia. And basically there's two common orders. One is this uh, insulin aspart frequency TIDAC um, uh, order uh, where you can hover over the the um, insulin aspart uh, and so you can see the scale or you can uh, click on this uh, the black down arrow and you'll see the different scales that are available. So if you select very low pre-meal scale, um, the pre-meal scale, the order details window comes up and if you click order comments you can see the, the, the uh, pre-meal um, scale, the very low. And then you can go back up and click on the uh, medium, let's say we wanted to look at the medium scale, you could select medium and then click order comments and you see that there's a medium scale and it looks entirely different. So for the sake of uh, brevity we will um, select the TIDAC, let's say medium pre-scale and then there's this HS frequency HS bedtime um, and let's say we wanted to for the sake of clear, uh, brevity just select the very low scale for the HS time. Um, Notice there's a glucagon and glucose dextrose auto auto checked because of the hypoglycemia protocol that we need those meds available. Um, and so if you click orders for signature, you will um, have the um, meds uh, appropriately selected, and then you'd click sign, and you would sign into action the uh, power plant, the insulin sliding scale power plant. Now here it says processing please refresh and all you do is click the refresh button and you'd see that your power plan got ordered. Now um, this is good for the first time ordering the, the power plan but what if you came in and you noticed that the patient's blood sugars were um, out of control at night and so perhaps you wanted the nighttime insulin to be higher. So how would you uh, do that as well as your TIDAC insulin for instance being being uh, needing more insulin, so you would you would right click and discontinue this uh, insulin sliding scale, and then or the orders inside this sliding scale come up saying, "Are you sure you want to discontinue all these?" And you say yes, click OK, and then click. Notice how here on this screen um, it uh, states that um, all these orders are going to get discontinued. So you click orders for signature, and then you click sign. So that stops the old scale, and then you click refresh, and you notice that the old scale has been uh, discontinued, and all the old stuff has been discontinued. And all you do is you click add again, and then go to power plans, and then go to insulin subcutaneous sliding scale, then click done. And this time, order the new scale. So, for instance, we would select the TADAC depending on the clinical scenario. Maybe I want the high pre meal scale, um, and then. Um, then I maybe I want a higher nighttime scale. Um, so let's say we do a medium nighttime scale. Um, and then notice now the cr the appropriate ones have been selected. Um, and uh, then you just click uh, orders for signature. And then click sign. And now you have changed the insulin sliding scale uh, effectively. And if you click refresh here, you'll see that the newer scales are ordered um, right here as well as 
right here. Thank you.